Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to edit your controls list on your Garmin Instinct crossover watch. I'm using the solar version. It shouldn't matter whether you've got the solar or non-solar version. This video should work the same for you. I will say, however, there are some of the controls that will be different as far as the listing of items you can put in your control wheel will differ between the solar and the non-solar model. So what are we talking about when we say controls? Basically, your control wheel is kind of a shortcut to various features on the watch that you use on a regular basis. And the way you access that is by pressing and holding the top left button on the watch, which is your control button. So if I press and I hold it, it takes me to this little sub menu. And you can see there's things in here like my cell phone connection. I can quickly disconnect my cell phone instead of going through settings and going through pair phone or the phone option. I can just put it in my controls menu and go straight to it. You can use the up or down button to cycle through other things in your control menu or control wheel. So for example, my brightness, calibrate the watch hands, lock keys. Those are things I've got in my control wheel. But how do we customize this? How do you set it up so that you've got actual things in here that you want to see? I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Now, this is one of those things that we can do on the watch itself, or we can do it on the Garmin Connect app on our cell phone and then simply sync the changes over to our watch and the changes will be there. Maybe I'll show you how to do it on the cell phone as well. We are going to start on the watch by pressing and holding the middle button on the left hand side. That is our menu button. We're going to hold it. That will take us into our settings menu. Now you could use either the middle button on the left to go up or the bottom button on the left to go down. What we need to do is we need to go through our settings listing until we get to appearance. Once we're on appearance, we're going to press the GPS button, which is the top right button to choose appearance. And then what we're talking about in this video is controls. So we're going to use the down button or up button to go to controls, press GPS to choose controls. What you should see here are the exact same things we just saw when we went into my control wheel. Power off, battery saver, backlight, calibrate hands, lock, unlock keys, so on and so forth. When you get to the bottom of your listing, you will see an option for add new. I could press the GPS button and I could choose other things that are available on the watch to put in my controls menu that are not currently in my controls menu. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to show you these things just so you can see what's out there. Now again, for example, barometer, you don't have to put it in your controls menu to get to your barometer. This is just giving you a shortcut to all of these different features so that you don't have to press as many buttons to get through them. I'm going to put, um, let's just put moon phase in there for kick's sake. You want to add something, go to the value, press GPS. You'll see it says control added. So I've successfully added moon phase to my controls menu. I'm going to press the back button. I can see it there. Well, what if I want to rearrange it in my controls menu? What if I want it after a certain value? While I'm on it, I'm going to press GPS. And then I have the option to reorder. I'm going to choose reorder. And it's basically asking me, where do I want to move it? You can see this up arrow and down arrow. Currently, it is between uh, the cell phone connection and power off. Well, I can use the up button or down button to put it exactly where I want. Once I've got it in the spot that I want, press GPS, and I've successfully reordered it. I'm going to go ahead and press back. Now I'm still in my controls menu uh, settings. If there's something in here I don't want, for example, um, battery saver. The one thing that you can't remove is power off. Power off is always going to be in your controls wheel. But for example, battery saver, if I don't want it anymore, I can simply choose it. And instead of reorder, I can go down to remove, press GPS, and I've successfully removed it from my control uh, menu. So now I'm done. I'm going to press the back button, go back to my main watch face. If I go into my controls menu now, we should not see battery saver and we should see moon phase because I just removed battery saver and I just added moon phase. I'm going to press and hold the control button. There's moon phase and you'll see that there is no longer battery saver in there. I should also mention you don't have to fill this up. If you just want two things in your control menu, it's totally fine. If you just want power off in your control menu, it's totally fine. Again, you have to have at least power off, but that's really the only limitation you have in your control menu. 
So that's how we edit our controls menu on our watch. Let's go ahead and let's look at our cell phone and I'll show you how to do it on the cell phone. So I'm going to go into, well, let's see. Let me cut off the light. I'm in my Garmin Connect app. I'm going to choose the given watch. In my case, it's the Instinct Crossover Solar. Hopefully you can see this okay. Once we're in the uh, given watch, we're gonna swipe up and we are going to go to Appearance. We're basically gonna use the same navigation we just used on the watch. I'm gonna choose Appearance. I'm gonna choose Controls. Now again, because I have my watch connected, we should see exactly what we just did on the watch here, and we do. There's moon phase that we just added. We don't see battery saver, which we just removed. If I wanna rearrange them, I can simply, in the app, move them anywhere I want to. I can go to the bottom, and I can choose to add additional controls. And again, rearrange them. If I want to remove something, I could simply click the minus icon to remove it. As with everything, or at least I should say most things on the Garmin Instinct watches, if you can connect to Garmin Connect and do it in your Garmin Connect app on your cell phone, it's a whole lot easier than doing it on the watch. Once I've got it set the way I want, I can simply press the back button, sync my changes over to my watch. When I get on my watch, I've successfully adjusted my controls menu. Pretty simple stuff. I hope it makes sense. That's a look at how to edit our controls menu on our Garmin Instinct crossover. Thanks for watching.